All right, for those of you I talked to at Adepticon, I had talked about my managing to pick up the War Paints Fanatic Complete set to my local hobby shop, thanks to an auction and so on. Um, but I finished my IKEA drawer set that I saw on YouTube, and I talked to a bunch of people at Adepticon about it, and everybody was interested, so I'm going to show you. And also to with the um, domed light that I made. Domed light that I made? That's not quite right. LED, supposed to be like a 360 light thing for a painting that's going to help. Hopefully help with my painting. So here you go. Uh, ignore anything that's dirty. This is also my work from home station. So you see a laptop and some other stuff around that's not hobby related. It's work. Here you go. So here is the LED dome light. I have a regular dust lamp here, right? And then you have the dome light, which I have a control panel, control over here. And you can see with this, I can dim the light, brighten the light. Now that's at its brightest. These are just uh, simple LED light strips that I got from Amazon. I'm using a very simple, uh, here we turn on this side, very simple, um, also uh, like a lamp for your table lamp uh, fixture. This is also from Amazon. I think between that and the LED strips, is maybe 20 bucks. This metal frame thing that I show here that I've got the LED strips to, I got this at, uh, I think Home Depot. It's just aluminum edging. And the whole thing was, uh, that might have been seven or eight dollars on its own. You get like an eight foot piece. I cut it to this length. Now, depending on how, what length you cut it to would be the arc that you could get. And then I just use some oak pegs in there. And then this, whenever I want to take it out, I can just flex and pull the whole thing out, which I do when I'm working, is uh, I'll do that. Now, as far as the IKEA desk set, this is the IKEA Alex drawer on casters. Right? Got uh, six drawers, pretty big. I keep work stuff up here. I got a work scanner. I also keep other stuff, other hobby stuff you can see here. Used to be where my paints go. I have a Chromebook up here that I can pop up with speakers so I can play YouTube on it when I've got the lights going here and so I can look up rather than try to look at the, the laptop which came on. It's also work, so there's only certain things I can get on it. Um, but as far as the paints, this is the cool part, guys. So you can see, I'm sitting in my desk chair while doing this, but I open this up, and there's part of my paints. You can see by color, they're on a PVC thing that you get, um, or that you can buy. The Alex drawer set was approximately $200. The PVC strips I got cost me uh, maybe another 30 altogether. Uh, one eight foot strip will do one drawer for either just under the inside of this is about 23 and a half inches, 23 and 5 eighths. So four strips of that. There is room in the back to do even more, but there's a weight issue. And if I want to put any of it, like extra brushes or crappy brushes, I can do that. But as far as the War Fanatics paint set, you can see that I actually have, it does four rows. Uh, I did keep some of the speed paints from, from the previous edition. And I still got more here. And then I've upgraded, or upgraded, kept some, I've got some Vallejo. I did keep some of the Games Workshop stuff. You can see some Pro Acro back here. So this, this 45 degree angle setup still works well for them. Games Workshop, not so much, but that is as it is. Um, on these other drawers then, I keep, I'm keeping, hey, look, the new dice I bought after Adepticon, time. Because if you played me to Adepticon, you know how bad my dice were. Um, just basic, uh, now if I ever want to expand, I could put more of that PVC in here and do more paints. God help me, I think I have enough paints. Um, but you can see, I just keep basing supply stuff down here, odds and ends stuff. And the same with this on the bottom drawer. Some basing with that box has got like odd, odd, uh, static grass mixed in it and stuff like that for some mixture stuff. But yeah, that's it guys. Um, I highly recommend this. It doesn't come painted. That is something I did. Um, my little painting desk area here is in our uh, kitchen nook. Or breakfast is a better way to put it. And that's what um, the color we're going to be painting the kitchen cabinets at the end of May. 
Uh, so we got like a little sample paint. And so I thought, what a better way to test with this yellow walls that we have in the in the kitchen is how jarring that green was going to be. Uh, but we like it. Might just do a different finish, as painters know. Um, but there you go. I'll keep this short. And uh, there you go. Thanks, guys.